So after years of being an unmotivated sloth, especially when it comes to exercise, I've finally now found some sort of motivation to move my body and enjoy it. And I thought I'd just talk about how I did that a little bit, especially now that it's winter, it's going to be colder, especially in Melbourne, in Australia. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Just sit on your ass all day? No, we want to still, we still want to move our bodies. Um, you don't have to go out in the rain and train. This is what I'm just, I just like being in the outdoors and I like breathing in fresh air. I don't like being inside a gym like seven days a week kind of thing. So what I do is, first of all, I make sure I get enough sleep. Um, because sleep is when your body recovers, it rests, it repairs itself, etc. And you want to get enough sleep. I, my new goal is to go to bed between 8 and 9 p.m. I did that for a while, for a few months, a while back. And I felt so good, man. So good. I felt so energized. I just, I basically just jumped out of bed, you know. Um, so getting enough sleep, really important. Obviously drinking enough water that will give you the, the more you drink the more water you drink the more energy you'll have because it helps transport nutrients in your body and it just gives you energy because you're hydrated you're not dehydrated and then of course you want to get in the carbohydrates you want to get in the sugar the carbs because that's what's going to fuel your brain and all your cells in your body so you need to eat carbs before and after your meals just all day every day it's just going to make recovery so much better because you're restoring your glycogen stores and then, of course, to make it even more ideal, you want to get like a training buddy or a group of people who will motivate you and support you. Um, this is really good when you're cycling um, up some hills because you can get someone that can pace you up. So you can hold the wheel and shit like that. It's more fun in a way because you're in a, a bigger group of people and you can explore and you can it's safer as well because if an accident or something happens you've got witnesses and it's just a bigger group so it's not just like one little pissy cyclist who cars don't give a fuck about and will run over um it's like a group so it's safer as well but i mean even if you're going to a place in the hills or something grab some friends you know grab some people if you've got friends who like exercise if not then just i mean suck it up and just do it yourself next thing is just drop the excuses because when you drop the excuses you get the results um i guarantee if you just get out there get up and do it afterwards you'll be like well thank fuck i did that because i feel so good now because when you exercise it releases endorphins which is feel good hormone and you just feel like so good like right now it's such, even though it's raining, I like, I love even just getting, like I can exercise in any weather, it doesn't bother me, um, but I feel so good, I feel so energised, even though my feet are like, my toes especially, like probably blue, I feel so good, I'm probably going to come up another two times, because I feel so fucking good. And if you're training because you want to get like fitter and stuff, don't expect results just like straight away. A lot of people like they exercise for like seven days and they're like, oh shit, I didn't lose weight. Or, oh, I didn't like beat my time because like fitness takes time, you know. It's not just like a, you wake up and you're some fit fuck who can do indie pack. It takes time, fitness takes time and it's all about consistency. So if you're consistent with what you're doing, you'll get the results eventually, long term, sustainably and healthily. It's important to remember that it's not good to overtrain but it's not good to like not train and be sedentary and just sit on your ass all day and like your only exercise is picking up the remote to like switch the channel set some achievable goals this will help you keep motivated simply because when you like set a goal and then you tick it off you do it you're like oh fuck yeah i can do this so you set yourself like little goals you know um so your fitness can get better so you can motivate yourself find something you enjoy doing like, don't do something just because someone told you to. Find what you like doing because it'll make it more enjoyable. Find something that you're excited about. You're like, oh, yeah, shit, yeah, I can cycle up some hills. Or, oh, I'm going to go dancing or something. Like, another form of exercise I like doing is just dancing in my room. Like, boogieing it out. If you like these tips, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Anyway, have a good day. Go and move your body somehow. Check out the dog. I didn't know what to make, so I just made everything. <laughs> uh, cup up.